Hey guys, Sarah Lena here, and today I'm going to be reacting to part one of Story Prompts with a Twist. So, stay tuned. The nice man in the van with a puppy and candy seemed so excited to give me a ride home when I told him my little brother was there alone waiting for me. I'd feel bad about lying to him, but my family told me to bring home dinner, and those types of humans are so easy to catch. Yo! <laughs> I love this one so much. Um, oh, yeah. Kidnap the kidnapper. is It's great. Um, except I think they're doing more than kidnapping the kidnapper. But, um, hey, I mean, <laughs> karma, I guess? <laughs> One day you wake up as a human lie detector who is accurately able to tell when someone is lying. Your ability tells you that everything your best friend says, including their name, is a lie. Now, <laughs> did my friend get abducted by aliens? Or has my friend been lying to me the whole time? I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know, guys. You are starting to get really sick of your cat always getting in your way and knocking stuff out of your hand. Little do you know, your spouse is constantly trying to kill you with traps and poison, and the cat is saving your life. Oh, kitties. I'm telling you, I think animals are very capable of figuring this stuff out, and this one doesn't surprise me. Like, I feel like this could actually be, like, a plausible story. And, yeah. <laughs> On your deathbed, you confide to your nurse the fact that you were a serial killer who got away with your crimes. Me too, she replies, she replies wryly. Your nurse is killing you. <laughs> Honestly, your nurse is killing you. Um, that That's an interesting one. Um, I think. It's so bizarre to think about, but yeah, I, re I really like this one. This one, this one's crazy. I love it. Art museum security guards don't guard the paintings in fear that someone might steal them. They guard the artwork in fear that someone might get too close and fall in. Okay. So now there's some artwork that I would love to get trapped in, like beautiful scenery and everything like that. Like... Yeah, I'll fall in and get trapped in there as long as, like, I'm living in that and not some, like, creepy nightmare. But, um, the abstract paintings and the ones that make me dizzy, I don't want to get trapped in those. So, thank you, security guards. <laughs> a serial killer who kills hitchhikers picks up a serial killer who kills the people who pick him up. Okay, hold on. A serial killer who kills hitchhikers picks up a serial killer who kills the people who pick him up. So who is going to kill who first? Because the, um, the, the, the first serial killer is the driver of the car. And he kills hitchhikers. But then there's the second serial killer. Who is the hitchhiker who kills the people that pick him up. So it's going to be a battle of who's going to kill who first. And I kind of want to know who kills who first. <laughs> the moon doesn't exist. It's a hologram put there by beings unknown. One night it says error 404 where the moon should be. You go to tell your roommate, but all you find is a red glowing error 404 hovering above where they should be sleeping. I want to know if anything else isn't real. Like, is he living in like some like creepy like universe type thing where nothing is real? Or is it just like the moon and his roommate? Because I got to know these things. <laughs> 
You get achievements in life, such as get married or meet your future wife. Today you had your first baby, and you see an achievement pop up. Meet the person who will eventually kill you. Like, straight up kill me? Like, my child is going to grow up and kill me? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> It's like, I love my child. Why is my child trying to kill me? <laughs> Vampires cannot enter a house uninvited. Turns out they invented welcome mats to bypass this rule decades ago. And that's why I don't have welcome mats. Actually, I don't have welcome mats because my dog would chew them up. But, um, that, that, that would be interesting for sure. Um, I definitely think that would be terrifying, but it'd be interesting. <laughs> humans start out at birth with milk white blood the more crimes they commit the darker their blood becomes one day you meet your soulmate skip a few years and things are amazing yeah okay until your soulmate trips falls and exposes black blood okay all right so, this doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. Like, yeah, your soulmate could be going around, you know, being a serial killer and killing people. Um, but, I mean, it could be as simple as, like, he, you know, steals candy from the store. A lot. A lot and a lot and a lot and a lot. <laughs> um, very, very frequently robs candy from a store. Um, because... It doesn't say, like, the, like, more heinous the crimes they commit, the darker their blood is. It's just the more crimes they commit. So it could be little crimes that he's doing. Like, yeah, not saying, you know, little crimes are not bad because, I mean, you should never, like, steal things. But, um, he could be stealing things or he could be, you know, a serial killer murdering people. There, there, there is a version where this is not as bad as it could be. That's all I'm saying. Since childhood, you've been able to hear the thoughts of animals. This has led to an excellent, care, an excellent career as a veterinarian. One day, someone brings in their pet to have it put down. You hear the animal scream, Please don't, I'm a human. The person there is a witch. <laughs> like, and not just like, and not like a mean person. Like, a full-on witch. Practicing witchcraft. Because if the animal is a human, yeah, that's, mm-mm. Don't, don't, don't kill the animal, but don't let the witch know that you're onto her because, oh boy. <laughs> All right. You can taste lies. One day you're comforting your, fr your best friend after a tough breakup and almost vomit at the foul taste the words bring. After all, you're only human. So is my friend a monster or is my friend a demigod? Again. Not necessarily a negative thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. Your friend could be, you know, a demon monster or your friend could be a demigod. I mean, the choice is yours. <laughs> uh, okay. The witch in the gingerbread house doesn't eat children. Uh, it's not the way I heard the story. Um, she doesn't even harm them. She protects them. She takes abused and abandoned children under her wing, teaches them her craft, and releases them into the world as strong young witches and wizards with a kiss on the forehead and an invitation to return whenever they like for comfort, support, or even just a slice of cake. No, the witch in the gingerbread house doesn't eat children. She eats their parents. I was like, where, where's the twist of this one? Um, <sighs> she eats their parents. You know what? I don't hate this one. This one actually is kind of fun. I don't hate it. 
I think this one might be one of my favorite ones, honestly. You are cleaning out the attic of your home when you find a dusty old leather bound diary. This is going to be really creepy because I have an entrance to my attic in my room. And I don't really like where this is going. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, the date inside is from 150 years ago. You start to read and the author writes about strange things that happened in the house. Items moving mysteriously, strange sounds, etc. The final entries describe seeing a ghost in great detail. Hair color, eye color, clothes. And the description of the ghost matches you exactly. Okay, so I'm the ghost. Alright, okay. It was not too bad. I was expecting it to be a lot more freaky. Although suddenly I still feel the need to look around my room. Okay. Um, we're just going to move on to the next one. Okay. You are born with the ability to see whether people listen more often to the angel or the devil on their shoulder. Based on the, o based on the opacity of each... Okay. If they listen more to the angel, it's more solid and the demon is more transparent and vice versa. You recently met a guy online and you're finally going to meet... Oh boy. <laughs> You go in for a handshake and glance at his shoulder, but you can't see the angel, only a solid demon. Run. <laughs> Run because this guy is probably a serial killer. Like, I, I've found ways to, you know, find the upside in certain things, but this one, no, no, this, this guy's a serial killer and run. <laughs> the man tied to the chair was struggling against the gag I put on him. I'm watching him while I eat my ice cream. It's really delicious. That's... That's creepy. Okay. He thinks it... He thinks that it's probably a prank. After all, he thinks I'm his best friend. Okay. This one is crazy. So he literally like tied his friend to the chair and then is just sitting there eating ice cream like and it's like what what did this guy do to his friend to cause him to tie him up to a chair or is this friend posing as his friend and his actual friend is in real danger somewhere? Like, I gotta know these things. I gotta know these things. Okay. You're a character in an urban legend and become aware of the fact. You panic knowing that people are usually killed in grisly ways or go missing in these stories. As you run through the woods, hoping to avoid whatever threat is coming, you stumble upon a group of teenagers around a campfire. With one look at you, they begin to scream and run away. Confused, you chase after them, but maintain a slow yet menacing walk. And that's when you realize that you're not the helpless victim in the story, but rather the crazed killer that the story is about. Okay. Urban legends, I feel like there's like some truth to them but like I feel like it's like over exaggerated so am I really a killer or is this like an urban legend that people tell their kids so that they don't go outside like at night like am I a killer or am I just you know a friendly I gotta know <laughs> at a party a round of truth or dare starts and you're dared by someone to go home that seems simple enough. Okay, I'll go home. Um, not one to back down, you comply and leave. Though you're pretty bummed. That is, until the next day you find out everyone at that party died mysteriously. Everyone except the person who dared you to go home. Well, at least the person who dared me to go home decided to spare my life. Like, he dared me to go home, so he obviously didn't want to kill me. I mean... He 
seems nice. I probably wouldn't want to see him again, but he seems nice. <laughs> a princess is arranged to marry a prince as a sign of peace. Okay, so this is going to be one where, like, the prince and the princess, like, meet up because they're both running away from this marriage. Okay, let's see. Problem is that the princess has been cursed with the ability to see ghosts and has fallen in love with the ghost of the true prince. As it turns out, the man she is supposed to marry is a fraud. Well, that seems nice. I don't know how she's going to get out of this or tell anybody because, I mean, that seems odd. But, you know, at least she's falling for the actual prince. I mean... <laughs> and that is it. So, this is part one. I was going to do more, but um, then it would have been too long. So, um, let me know what you guys think about this. Did you guys enjoy it? Do you want more, um, like story prompt types, type things? I mean, I'm probably still going to do them anyways, but, um, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my latest videos. Follow me on all the socials. The link is in the description down below, and I will see you all in another video. Bye, guys.